The 22-year-old man is charged with aggravated battery and is still behind bars tonight. WRTV's Vic Reichart and Stephanie Wade spoke with the baby's mother, who was at work at the time of the incident. Yeah, they share her heartbreaking message tonight. Oh, Jax, he was a ball of sunshine. Four-month-old Jackson Thompson was a funny, happy little boy, his mother Savannah Thompson says. He gave kisses all the time. That was his favorite thing to do. But tragically, his life came to an end last Saturday after police records say Jackson suffered severe brain injuries from being shaken by his father Friday evening. 22-year-old Brandon Herring was watching Jackson while Thompson was at work. Herring reportedly called 911, saying Jackson was having trouble breathing. When police arrived, they challenged him on what happened, noticing signs that he may have been hurt from being shaken. According to police records, Herring then used a baby doll to show how he shook Jackson for seven to 10 seconds. Why didn't your mind process one second after you picked him up and looked at him and had them intentions of shaking him? Why didn't that snap? Herring told police he, quote, lost his cool. Thompson rushed to the hospital where Jackson was being treated. And I would beg him to wake up, and I would beg him and hold his hand and kiss his hand and his feet. But sadly, after several attempts at reviving him, Jackson was gone. He took his last breath in my arms, and I felt him become lifeless. Uh, I felt my heart and my body fill up with rage and hurt and agony in pain. Before they took him off life support, Thompson recorded his heartbeat and had it placed in this bear so she can play it anytime she wants. We have a bear and a blanket and pictures. We have nothing left and neither should he. We want justice for Jackson. Herring has since been charged with aggravated battery in Jackson's death. It's not fair. Brandon's in jail eating three meals a day and getting to wake up. My grandson didn't get to wake up. Thompson says she won't stop fighting until justice is served. It will take a lifetime to put our hearts back together. We will never get over this. That's the last thing that I do in my life. I will get justice for him. Reporting tonight with Vic Reichert, Stephanie Wade, WRTV. A jury trial has been scheduled for a hearing on December 8th. Aggravated battery is a level one felony.